Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create this part in Autodesk. Uh, dimensions, exact dimensions are not important. Create something that looks very similar to this. And then we're going to create a section view, okay, just like the one seen here, section B dash B. All right, so let's go ahead and go into Autodesk, okay. Start a new standard, okay, start a 2D sketch. All right, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm sorry, not my center one, just my two point. Drag it out, and I want about a oh four by one point five inches square. Okay, finish the sketch, and we're going to extrude it. Okay, a distance of point seven five inches. All right. Looks pretty good so far. Now I'm going to click on that face and we're going to start a 2D sketch. Once again, let's draw that hollow part of that rectangle right in here. Okay. And I'm going to place it about, like I said, exact dimensions aren't important, but okay. Hopefully you have something similar or everything's proportional to scale when you do it. Okay, and then let's dimension it about 0.1 from that side and point one from that side and then we're gonna make it an entire inch. From this edge. Okay, let's go ahead and finish our sketch, extrude that part, and we're going to cut into it a distance of, I gave it about 0.3, okay, 0.35, you know, it doesn't matter, I'm going to go with 0.3, okay, whatever it looks like to you in the drawing, okay. All right, now let's go ahead and click on that face, start a 2D sketch. We're gonna create that circle. So I'm gonna just project some geometry here. Okay, hit escape, and I'm gonna grab my circle tool, and I'm gonna come down until I hit that green bisector, that midpoint. Okay, then I'm gonna come out horizontally, okay, and just drag it out about 0.5 inches is what I kind of estimated it as. All right, and then um, I'm gonna dimension it from that edge, about 0.75. And let's dimension it from that edge to our center Okay, and let's go ahead and finish our sketch. We're going to extrude it. And I estimated it to be about, oh, a height of about 0.5 there. Hit OK. Okay, once again, let's come back into this. Start a 2D sketch. Okay, I want to project some geometry again. And I'm going to grab my circle tool. Once again, I want to come down, find that midpoint right there, come out, and green dots are our friends. They give us symmetry and they help us close loops. So I estimated the diameter to be about 0.15. Okay, hit enter. And then I'm going to dimension it about, okay, uh, I think about 0.5 from that side. And then, same as the other one, 0.75 there. Let's go ahead and finish our sketch. This time, though, we're going to make a hole all the way through. So, or, well, let's just extrude it. You can do a hole as well, but you would have had to have put a point on there. All right, so um, we're going to cut, and we're just going to go 
all. Okay, there we go. And there is our hole all the way through. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on this face to create our last feature. And we're going to start a 2D sketch here. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's once again project some geometry so we can kind of see what we're messing with here. All right, I'm going to grab a rectangle, but I'm going to grab the two point center one and I'm going to come down to the bisector again, come out and just drag out a rectangle. Um, let's hit escape. Let's try that one more time. And I'm just going to come out for a little further here. And I'm going to make it 0.4 by about 0.25. All right. Then I'm going to dimension it from this edge 0.2. All right. And then from here to the center 0.75. Okay, and now I'm just going to grab my circle tool, come to find that green dot and drag out a circle so that it looks almost tangent to that. So let's come up here, grab our tangent constraint, make sure that is tangent to that. Okay, looks good. Hit escape. Um, now we want to do some trimming. Trim that, that, that. Let's get rid of those construction lines. If we mm, that, that's okay. Let's uh get rid of some dimensions here. Trim. Hmm, I thought I did. Okay, and if you want to go back in, you can add, go back in and add those dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude this the same depth as this piece, so which was 0.3. So we're going to go the other way, 0.3. Hit OK. Whoop, what did we happen? There we go. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyways, um, there's our part. All right. Now let's go ahead and create a section view of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my top view just to make sure it looks right. Okay, that looks good. Now when we come back to our assignment, I'm going to set up my view so that I have, this is my top view, isometric side, and then our section view here. So I'm going to come back into Autodesk, let's do a new ANSI.IDW, let's go to Edit Sheet, uh, and Size A, let's go to Base, bring in our top view first, let's select this guy so we can see some hidden lines, go there, hit Escape, Base, let's bring in our ISO top left, then let's bring in our right side, and now we're going to do our section view. Okay, now I'm going to move them, spread them out just a little bit here, and now make sure you come over here to place views, and we're going to click on section now, and right down the middle here, we're going to click continue, okay, and let's try that again. 
section view. There we go. And click there. And there is our full section view. Okay. So hopefully you have all your views set up. Now, this front view is more has is better than a normal front view because it gives us more information about our part here. So that's why we use section views. When you're finished, please put your name here, all right, and your title with the text box. Annotate text in your name. Okay, take a screenshot and you're all good. Thanks.